So if you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in finding out if the Pastomatic is a good project to invest your time and money into. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's running and what type of spool you can expect in the end. Now I have a motor attachment on mine, so I don't have to wind it manually. So I have a video on how to install this motor linked below, as well as a video on how to assemble the entire thing. Now this does come with a filament guide to help get an even spool, but as I'm using Sunlu spools, I found that they were too small and made the filament guide do more harm than good. If you're running bamboo spools, then definitely use the filament guide. So once the spools are on, I attach the end of the right spool to the left spool by poking it through the hole at the bottom and making a small blockage. It's important to remove this blockage once the spool is ready so it doesn't wig out your filament runout sensor and cause a jam. I then rotate the spool a few times just to make sure the filament is secure before switching on the motor. So this is what it looks like at low speed. As you can see, it's winding quite nicely and isn't getting pushed up and tangled. Here I'm just using my fingers to gently guide the filament into the right position. Now I'm cranking up the speed a bit and you can see that even when it's unguided, the filament seems to be spilling nicely. Now the rod for the filament guide actually works on its own to some extent as the filament follows the grooves on the screw and follows its way back and forward. But it's a good idea just to keep an eye on it and use your finger if you need to. Now you can see that as the spool gets heavier, the motor slows down a bit. All you need to do is increase the speed and you'll be able to finish the spool easily. I have the 550 RPM motor. Why did I get that? I don't know, because it seemed a bit faster. But I would probably recommend the 150 as it has a higher torque and will probably mean you don't have to adjust it as much. So as the spool is nearly done, I slow it down to grab the end piece in order to stop it getting tangled. And this is the final result. Hope this video has helped. See you in the next one.